and of course tracking what we did see over the weekend, recent heavy snow trapping people living in the mountains of the San Bernardino County area. A task force of local firefighters are among those actually traveling to places like Crestline to get supplies to stranded residents. Joining us now to talk about the ongoing rescue efforts is San Diego Fire Task Force Leader Willie Melendez. Willie, thanks for joining us tonight. Absolutely. Are, are you speaking to us from Crestline right now where you are on the grounds trying to help people there? Yeah, I'm about uh, three or four miles west of Crestline. I'm in the, in the um, Valley of Enchantment neighborhood um, where I'm, I'm actually right at a distribution center where we are passing out um, uh, food and water and diapers and, and oxygen tanks to residents within the area. So this is one of the main distribution centers um, in the Crestline area. Uh, this is something that one of our task force leaders from San Diego um, assisted in um, in getting up and running yesterday, actually the past couple of days. And today's our first fully functional day where we have plenty of supplies for people and um, we're staying pretty busy out here. Can you just describe for us here in San Diego the scene that y'all are looking at right now that you're working with? Because some of the videos really don't even look real. Walls of snow on either side, roads impassable with not even able to get plowed out because of how much snow there is. What are you seeing right now? Yeah, so, I mean, just, in, I've never seen snow like this. Um, just a tremendous, all driveways are all all buried in, cars are piled up. Um, you, you wouldn't even know there was a, a vehicle in the driveway of the, the amount of snow. Um, uh, we've seen a couple of structure collapses because uh, of the weight of the snow on some of these on these homes. Um, it's impacting some of the gas lines, um, putting pressure on the gas lines, freezing them and, and, and causing them to crack, uh, which which becomes an, an, uh, an explosive hazard. Mm. Um, so yeah, th today we had a good day of sun, so it can help some of the snow melts. But um, now we're just anticipating the uh, the uh, possible rains coming in the future. Yeah, and before we talk about that, what are you hearing from residents there? I can imagine they are so thankful when they see first responders arriving to their door to hand them. I think yesterday San Diego posted about getting diapers and formula to a mom with an, an infant. I mean, what are their reactions when you show up at their door? Gosh, I just got goosebumps even you saying that. It's just that the amount of gratefulness and, and the appreciative uh, the community is just uh, thankful to get finally get that support here. Um, and I, I mean, there's our incident management team that's managing this. We're even going as far as that people can get their prescriptions filled mm -hmm. and um, by a doctor down in down in San Bernardino. And we're getting making sure people have medicine and, and there's vital vital needs up here. So it's, just, it's a slow process, um, but it's uh, there's a it's pretty complex. It's pretty complex, and like you said, I mean, there's more on the way. First of all, though, I just have to thank you for what you're doing, what your team's doing, because I can only imagine how scared some of those residents have to be in the fact that you're showing up and putting yourselves in danger to get them what they need. It's just remarkable work. But are you going to be staying there through this weekend, or are you all going to try to get out before that next storm hits? Uh, but we're, we're probably going to stay through the weekend. Um, they want to just see what the potential is for the rain and what that what kind of impact that looks like in the community. So... Uh, with the snow melt, uh, they're concerned about um, obviously flooding and the uh, additional weight that puts on on the infrastructure of, of buildings in here um, as far as um, the, the structural integrity of roofs and uh, carports and um, mobile home parks. And how many, if you don't mind, are San Diego, are, are there the task force? What team is that? How many people are there making that up? And are you going to be switching that out and having new people come as we potentially have a new round of issues? So we have uh, right now we have nine San Diego firefighters, um, including myself. We have six from um, Chula Vista and one from Miramar. Um, and we are all kind of doing separate jobs. And my, my job is a task force leader. So I'm, I'm managing um, uh, loaders and, and dump trucks and excavators to, to help clear the 138 road through town. Um, another task force leader is working on the, uh, the distribution center here. Um, we have people in the planning department. Um, kind of forecasting out what the future looks like. We also have some firefighters um, helping set up the facilities and, um, and the radio communication. So there's, there's, there's a, a bunch of us out here and we're all kind of doing separate jobs working within the infrastructure that's, that was established when, when we got here on Sunday morning.
Well, fantastic, incredible work from all of us here at KWSI. Extend our gratitude to everything that y'all are doing there. It is just so critical right now. And, of course, we are hoping that you stay safe. We know, again, another round, a different set of problems. But, again, thanks so much for taking the time to come on, to step us through and give us that perspective. I think it's hard for us here in San Diego to imagine what they are living through right now. But we appreciate your time. Absolutely. All right. Stay safe.